like now in its current state. Yes, and that's the current floor. It's a linoleum. And then it's the sink, the vanity, which I'm going to paint in the mirror. And the um, the light, which I'm we actually changed that when we first moved in, so I'm going to leave that there. And then that's the window, toilet, shower. All this is going to change, going to be updated. So that's just the big picture view of the room right now. So I realized I never showed you guys the tile that I went with. And, and so show you that. So it's like a white background with gray veining in it. And it's called the Bianco, Bianco Carrera Hexagon Marble Mosaic Tile. And it's in a 12 by 12 sheet. So I bought some um, paint samples today. So I bought um, Classic Gray, which is a um, Benjamin Moore um paint and then i also bought gray owl and i wanted something i thought i think that i want to go with something really really light gray like light light almost white so those are two samples that i picked up and i'm going to try them on the wall and i'll show you guys how they look then I, okay, so here both of them opened up i don't know if you can see this is gray owl and it's got a tan a slight hint of gray in it and this is classic gray and that's almost white. So here they are on the wall. Classic gray. I mean, they haven't dried yet. I literally just put them on, but that is a gray owl right there. Oh no, y'all. And then this is classic gray. They kind of look the same. Oh lord, I don't know. Okay, so. This is the color that's in my living room and it's called Sea Haze by Benjamin Moore. And it's like a greenish gray. And I think it's really pretty. So I'm gonna try it and see if I like this one in here. So I'm gonna let that dry for like an hour and then I'm gonna come back and check it. Y'all, I can already tell that I'm gonna like this um, Sea Haze that I have in my living room. Like I said, it's like the perfect gray greenish color gray and then the shower curtain that i have is like this white waffle so that's a pretty contrast and so let's see how it'll look how it's gonna look with the floors just took the mirror down and i'm taking the hooks out the hell the mirror because i have to spackle all of this to make it smooth i'm gonna this is a spackle so this particular spackle once it is dry meaning you can sand it and smooth the surface with uh, either like a sand block, sandpaper block, or actual sandpaper. Once it's dry, it turns white. Okay, so what you see me about to use is the all-purpose sheetrock joint compound. And what's that, what that's going to do is repair the area that I removed the mirror. This white stuff that you see was the wrong stuff that I used. It is actually, see if I can find it. Wrong one. So I originally put it up and I realized that you can't use that to repair damaged drywall. So found out that I need to use the all-purpose um, joint compound and then wait 24 hours and sand that. So that's what I'm getting ready to apply to the wall over the area where I initially applied that spackle. Um, I sanded that spackle down and so I'm just going to apply the joint compound on top of it. I'm just using this um, putty knife and just applying it right over the area where I pulled the mirror down. So, and I'm just smoothing it out so, so it's a thin consistency. All right, here's what it looks like on the wall. So I'm just gonna let this sit here overnight and dry and then I will be back tomorrow to sand it and show you what it looks like. And tomorrow I should be able to determine if I need a second coat, which I probably will to make it more smooth, or if um, I'll be ready to prime and paint. All right, so we're getting ready to remove the toilet. Turn it off, turn off the water, and then flush the toilet.
from they were here yeah from there leave the other line on there so you remove the bolts the bolt covers from the side of the toilet each side <laughs> and then the supply line that runs the water to the toilet you just unhook it from the shutoff valve but you can go ahead and leave it connected to the toilet so that's what we're going to do we were removing the toilet the um water that was left in there came out from the hole at the bottom so now i'm just getting up the water it's clean water so it's not like So I'm just cutting, using this box cutter to cut across this old caulk line. So I can pop this, this um, old quarter round off the tub. Cause I need something that's as flexible as this. I got it. You heard me? I got it. Huh? Yeah. So the quarter round is all removed. My husband just went downstairs to prepare the backer board that we're getting ready to lay down on top of the linoleum. And let me tell you, so we're going to, and I look crazy because it is about 10.30 at night. So we're going to lay the backer board and the tile marble right on top of the, the current linoleum. We don't have to pull it up. We researched and found that because linoleum is so thin, if you get a uh, like a quarter inch or a half an inch thick backer board to lay down on top of it and then just lay the towel on top, you don't actually have to remove the linoleum. So that saved us some work that we didn't even want to do. So, so we will show you how the backer board looks once we begin to lay it down. 